Wonderful. So this week we have been learning our new sounds, okay? And we've learned two new sounds so far this week. Can anyone put um, their hands up and remind me which sounds we've learned this week? Yay. Amazing hand going up. So what sounds have we learned this week? Um, um, two. We've learned two. Wonderful. Can you remember any of them? Can you remember any at home? Well done. We have learned the s. Can you all make the sausages a sizzling s? Excellent. And then there's one more that we've learned. So Felicity taught us this one, and then I taught you this other one ah. yesterday. Oh, remember, we're putting our hands up. Okay, let's see if we can say it after three. One, two, three. Ah, ah good. So, who can remember? It's ants on apple. Ah, ah, ah. So, we've learned two new sounds this week. Uh, Sausages are sizzling. I'm just waiting for everyone to sit and give me five. And our ants on an apple. Thank you. Okay, now today we're learning a completely new sound. We are learning this phoneme. Okay, does anyone know? Hands up. Oh, yes, what's this one? Oh. Now, it does look a bit like a J, but it's not a J, because a J has a dot. This one doesn't have a dot. What's this one, darling? Oh, not quite. So we, if you think you know it, let's say it after three. One, two, three. Now, listen. It's a good job that Felicity's not here. Do you know why it's a good job Felicity's not here? Because some people then said, ter, ter. And it's not a ter, because remember, when we're thinking about our sounds, we're thinking about that pure sound, okay? That first sound, it's this, listen. Can we all make that sound? Good, it's not a ter, it's a Excellent, now. Our action for our t sound is, you've got to look like a fearsome tiger and you've got to be sitting on a TV. Tiger on a TV. T -t -t -t. That's what you've got to look like, a fearsome tiger on the telly. Okay, tiger on the TV. Very good. Now, when we want to write the grapheme, then we start up at the top here, okay? We go down the tiger's back, we go round for his tail, then we take our pen off, and then we put the tiger's arms on. And that's how we write our graphing. Okay, do you want to watch, watch again? We go down the tiger's back, round for his tail, pencil off, and then we go across for his arms. There we go. Okay, everybody, let's get our magic fingers ready and blow some magic color into our fingers. And we're gonna have a go at writing that in the air. Are you ready? So we go down the tiger's back, go around for his tail, pencil off, and then we come back up to the middle and we put his arms on. Wonderful. This time, write it on the floor in front of you with your magic. Blow some magic into your pens at home, home learners. Okay, and on the floor in front of you, we're going to go down the tiger's back, round, go round for his tail, pencil off, and then go to the middle and put his arms on. Amazing. Now we're going to play a little bit of a game. Okay? I've got... I've got my three sounds that we've learnt this week, okay? I've got my a, uh, I've got my s, and I've got my t. Now, when I hold up the picture, you're going to sing the song and do the action, okay? So are you ready? Are we ready? What's my first picture going to be? Sausages are sizzling. 
Wonderful. You ready? What's my next one going to be? Tiger on the TV. Excellent. Ants on an apple. Okay, I'm going to get quicker. Excellent. I nearly caught you out then, didn't I? <laughs> Wonderful. Now this time I'm going to show you the phoneme and you're still going to do the action and sing the song, okay? So this time you won't have the picture to help you, you're just going to have to recognise it from our phoneme. Okay, so are you ready? <laughs> well done. Oh my goodness, I wonder if you're as good at this at home as they are in class. Very good, ready? become readers again and learn to put those sounds together using our sound buttons to read a word. Okay, are we ready? Now remember you say the sound as I press the sound button. Are you ready for our first word? Ah, as. As. As you're sitting on the carpet beautifully doing your phonics learning, Mrs. Sharp is a super proud teacher. Okay, you ready for our next word that we're going to read with our sound buttons? Oh my goodness, look how ready you are to be readers. Are you ready? A. 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 Oh, nearly. A. Sat. Oh my goodness, well done. Give yourself a big for being such a reader. Okay, wonderful everybody. So, today, home learners, your challenge is, can you spot any t phonemes when you're reading in your stories or around your house at all? So see if you can have a look around your house and spot any t in any words around your house and books. Well done and I shall see you later.